Hello, my name is Peter Guzman. I am the Insight Sales Manager at NVT. Today, I'm gonna to be discussing NVT's new Ethernet over coax transceiver. The only configuration required for the transceiver is a process called joining. The process of joining is very simple and should only take you a couple of minutes to complete. To start the joining process, you first connect two 1701 transceivers using a coax jumper cable. Once you've connected the jumper cable, then you power one of the 1701 transceivers. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna power the one on the right. As you can see, the blue power LED light is on on both transceivers. This is a good example of how the 1701 is capable of delivering power remotely. We're powering two transceivers from one power supply. To initiate the process of joining, you need to use a paper clip. You have to straighten one end of the paper clip. Behind the RJ45 LED, there's a little button. You have to press that button for up to three seconds to initiate the process of joining. Once you initiate the process of joining on one transceiver, you have up to 10 seconds to click the same button on your other transceiver. And I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna start with the one on the right. One, two, three. The RJ45 light blinks. I'm gonna go to my second transceiver. One, two, three, it blinks. They're in join mode right now. The way that you know that it's been successful is when you get a solid BNC light on both transceivers. It can take anywhere between 10 seconds to a little bit longer than that for that to occur. As you can see right now, I have solid BNC LED on both sides. So these transceivers are joined and on the same private network. If I need to configure an additional transceiver or join it to this private network, all I need to do is disconnect one of the two. I recommend disconnecting the one that isn't powered. I bring in an unconfigured one. I connect it to the, jump, the coax jumper connection and I repeat the process. One, two, three, it's in, it's in join mode. One, two, three. Both RJ45 lights are blinking, indicating that they are in join mode. I'll wait till I get a solid BNC on the second one, and that will indicate that it has been joined to the private network that we configured. If I need to repeat the process again, I can just grab another unconfigured transceiver and do the same thing. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any additional questions, please email us or give us a call. Our phone number is 650-462-8100. Thank you and have a very nice day.